the next one to be sent off uh, was Rob. <laughs> Rob? Rob? <laughs> what does he do for a living? Uh, he's actually a butcher. A butcher? Yeah. <laughs> Is he your butcher? No, he's not my butcher, no, I'm a vegan. So how do you know him, then? He's next door to the veg shop. Green so you've naturally got to know the shopkeeper of the shop next door to where you buy all yeah, your Yeah, well, I go and buy my vegetables, and I always look yes. in and I'll always give him a... That's cruel! <laughs> so we get to a point where Jeff, Ron and Rob have gone, it's just you and another person. Now, who's the other person that you're relying on? Adrian. 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 Yeah. Now, what does Adrian do? He's actually lost his job. Oh, no, but what did he do? He was a butcher, a postman and a bin man. <laughs> Must be quite hard for him, then, to be around the other guys, the memories. Well, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> they were bras. Sorry? Oh, memories, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> and what was he sent off, then? Well, he was sent off for, um, for time-wasting. <laughs> yes, because obviously, think about it, you're 8 nil up at half time, you get a man sent off, and now it's 8 1, and then it's 8 2, and then it's 8 3, 8 4, 8 5, 8 6. We're down to two players, there's only a few minutes left. What are you going to do? You're going to time waste. What was he doing to waste time? He went for a Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the team? Uh, Fish Alive FC. Fish Alive FC. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Uh, oh! <laughs> Okay. All right, we need an answer. So, David's team is Lee Pam's bookshop buddy, Kyle's fellow fraudster, or Lee's football friend? Well, I don't believe Lee. <laughs> Why? Because of all of the details. <laughs> I think it is Lee. You think I it think is I agree. Lee? Yeah. I think Lee has done a Lee thing of making the story kind of like yeah, there's stuff right. that didn't happen. Right. But I think the guts of Lee's story. Yeah. I do. I just... It just feels... So, like, yeah. well, for example, the professions of your team... Yeah. ..were they really a bin man, a postman, a butcher and an unemployed former bin man, postman <laughs> and butcher? <laughs> OK. OK. Is that true? No. No. No, it's not well, true, I'm David, fine. because that would be ridiculous. I don't... I don't actually believe it was Lee. That was... You don't, don't you, David? You believe? Of course not. Well, it could, no, but the point is, mind. it could be Lee. David, David, yeah? <laughs> Probably not Lee. <laughs> are, are, you t are you telling... Are you giving me a clue? I'm worried you're having a breakdown. <laughs> Richard, what about Pam's story? People do it a lot. People put, you know, people put their books in front of other people's books. I absolutely get it. No way is Pam has been disrespected in any bookshop in this country. I think you're right. And I, I thought that the, the Brooklyn accent was absolutely terrific. So yeah. Let me just say now, um, <laughs> I, I might have given the impression that I was ruling out <laughs> Lee. And while on what many levels... What sort of mind games are you playing? <laughs> On I mean, I, I, you, you say you want to help me, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you do this. <laughs> I still think it's Lee. Honestly, you think it's Lee? I still think it's yeah. Lee. I actually... I, I agree with Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, David, you're the captain of that team, you're the leader of that team. Yeah, what are you yeah. going to say? Um, Kyle, every day of the week. I, yes, I think it's probably Kyle. OK. Lee, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Lee, and I help Kyle get into a club. <laughs> yes, Lee is Kyle's fellow fraudster. Thank you very much, Lee. <laughs> Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies, and we start with... It's... <clears throat> David. Possession. Right, now, there's a box under the desk, David. First of all, pop the item onto the desk. Once you've done that, would you please read the card? Ah, OK. <laughs> this is my penguin. When I used him to play a prank, it got out of hand. <laughs> wow. So what's the story, David? What, what, what happened? Uh, well, this is a penguin that must have come out of a cracker. And I put him in the garden, sort of hiding him, and took a picture in order to pretend that I had spotted a wren. To <laughs> pretend to who? Uh, to my wife. In, in, that was my aim. And what did she say? She took, took it at face value. Did How your... old is your wife? <laughs> <laughs> why, were you, 
pretending that you'd seen a, a bird in the garden. It was, it was a, a rainy weekend day and it was the day where people are invited to count garden birds. A big garden bird watch. Is that what it's called? Yes, that sounds indeed. like a very good name for it. Mm, right. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a big fan of birds, aren't you, Pam? Does that look anything like a wren? It does not remotely resemble a, a wren because a wren is a little brown bird, quite a boring little bird with a sticky up tail, whereas that is a... A it's plastic a penguin with a white bib and a key <laughs> sticking out of its back. It was a poor photograph. It was a, a, a great. Was it deliberately poor? Uh, yes. I didn't really expect to be believed. I don't think. Oh, my... good, because we don't believe you. I don't, <laughs> I don't think my wife looked very carefully at the picture. Did she just glance quickly? Yeah. And, and then what was her reaction? Her reaction was that she sent it to the street WhatsApp group. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you quite a prankster in the, around the house? Not usually, uh, but I have occasionally attempted to amuse. Well, <laughs> not, never in my presence. Well, uh, <laughs> what do you What do you think, Kyle? I'm going to say true. You say true. Yeah. And what about you, Pam? Uh, yeah, I think it's the sort of thing somebody would do for a laugh. <laughs> and you think that Victoria Corrin Mitchell, one of the most erudite, sharp brains around, would marry would, him? But... Would marry him. <laughs> But a lot of people aren't interested in birds and cannot distinguish one from the other. All right, your team seem to be saying true. Well, if my team think it's true, then who am I to, to disagree with them? OK, they say it's true. David, was that true or was it a lie? It was, in fact, true. Oh. <laughs> true. David really did prank his wife with a plastic penguin. Next, <coughs> it's Kyle. A girl once dumped me after she heard me talking in my sleep about how much I fancied her best friend. <laughs> <laughs> David's team. Oh. Whoa. Uh, right. <laughs> you were talking about the best friend. Yes. What exactly did you say that was a problem? I said her name a lot. Which is uh, not in itself a bad thing. No. no. What's the name? Rosemary, am I? Should oh. I say that? I think you just did. <laughs> <laughs> and the, your then girlfriend was called Anna. Anna, so yeah. no similarity at all? No. What did your girlfriend say you said? She said that I'd said, Rosemary, this is right. Oh, wow. <laughs> you could have oh. been doing a quiz together. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary, this is... I'm telling you, this is right. The longest river is the Nile. The Amazon is the river with the most water in it. <laughs> So when, when you woke up in the morning, yeah. what was the first indication that perhaps you were in trouble? There was a lot of slamming cupboards and oh. I could tell that she had the hump. And then I was like, what's, what's going on? And she said, well, you're talking in the sleep by Rosemary again. And <laughs> obviously I can't apologise because I, don't, I didn't know I was doing because it. Because you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, oh, well, it must have been because we hung out yesterday. And is there an attraction for Rosemary from you? Sorry? <laughs> that, I think that noise is something politicians need to learn. <laughs> Let me put it like this. Are you going to resign? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you thinking? I believe him. You believe him? I yeah. think I do. I think... I think... How, how old is Rosemary? <laughs> Same age as me, at the time. I'm not... I'm <laughs> now? <laughs> Rosemary, I don't know, is a name... is a, is a particularly... Yeah. What do you call Rosemary? Rosie. Well, then I would have thought he would say Rosie. Mm. I, yeah. I was dreaming. <laughs> I was, I was asleep. People are very formal in their dreams, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I think that trips it up. Oh. This is difficult. That's... Mm. Ah, I'm, I'm going to go lie. I'm going to go lie. Right. <laughs> They're saying it's a lie? A Kyle, truth or lie? Oh, no. It is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lie. Kyle didn't talk in his sleep. Oh, that noise signals time is up. It's the end of the show. I can reveal that it's a draw. Lee has three and David has three. Yay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night.